What up, y'all? It's your girl, Spirit, and I'm trifling. I am so trifling. I cannot believe that I have not been on here in all of 2018 with a lock update. Boo, <laughs> boo, 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 boo. But guess what? Get, get. I'm back now. Yes, I am. Hey, y'all. This is a beautiful, sun shining, 70 degree weather day in New York. I'll ask God about winter later. And um, I'm back and I'm feeling good. I hope that I'm finding you well in a happy space with your hair growing, your skin popping, your teeth smiling. I, I just hope you're good, okay? Uh, this is going to be my 15 month lock up day. Shout out to y'all who have been rocking with me since the beginning because it's crazy. My hair has changed so much and in this last year so I would love to just tell you guys what I'm kind of doing now and why I think my hair has grown because sometimes you know we can stunt our growth or we can encourage it so I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I've been doing to my hair lately why it's grown and that's it okay I'll go ahead and drop a pic of the first day and I'm gonna let y'all see my hair right now Uh, oh yeah, by the way, put a bobby pin to keep your hair to the side. You know, don't be shy to do that. Okay. We need to do a mantra of the day. We need to do a mantra of the day. All right. Let's take a deep breath. My mantra today will be... I will stay committed to the things that I choose to do. Let's take a deep breath. I will stay committed to the things that I choose to do. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, we'll talk about that too because I've been being consistent in a lot of areas in my life and I want you guys to know about it so that you can sauce it up in your own life, step up your game, step the cookies up. It ain't resolutions, we're creating solutions to our life's problems and going for the things that we want. Now you guys, you just seen my hair. And I'll tell you my number one reason why I think my hair grew this much is because I only infuse love into my hair okay even on the good days I was like yes rock out hair on the bad days I was like damn all right rock out booze on the uh, sad days when my hair was just kind of wild I made sure to always speak life into my hair and I say that principle about speaking life not only into your hair but into yourself into your friends, into your family, into everything that you do. Love is the number one nutrient and ingredient to help things flourish to their greatest potential, including you. So I was always kind to my hair, even if it did not cooperate and act the ways that I wanted it to, it was a little frizzy. I had to love it through the frizzy days. I had to love it through the shrinking days. I had to love it through the dirty days or the wild days. And that's what I'm telling you, to make your hair grow, you have to infuse love into it, okay? The second thing that I know helped my hair is that, you see these, you see my digits? They wasn't in here all the time. It's all about finding a balance for your hair. So for me, I found that my hair grows best when it's just left the hell alone. Now, as a style girl, as a girl who likes to look different on a daily basis, I had to make sure that I find a balance for my hair. So if there was a certain week where I had my hair up and back for three or four days that week, then please believe the next week my hair is just going to be down resting. Okay, so you have to have periods of rest after periods of stress. So I only went to the salon four times, three times during my first year. And that's because I found that salons Yo, they cool, but they palm roll very tightly. They pull you back in those wonderful styles, but that's a lot of stress on your roots. So if you have been going to the salon and not giving your hair a chance to just grow on its own without being retwisted, without being manipulated every day, then I'm going to suggest that you go ahead and back, back, give your hair 50 feet and give it a couple minutes, not a couple minutes, give it some time to rest. Rest and balancing your hair is key to helping your hair to grow because things that are always manipulated, your hair can't lock, your hair is just being stressed out all the time. And so I don't want stressed hair, I don't want thinning edges, so I make sure to take that stress away by allowing my hair to rest. 
The next reason why I think that my hair has grown so much is because of moisture. Rain on them, rain. I make it rain on my hair every single day. I'm still using my rose water conditioner. I don't use it as much in the wintertime, I'm going to be honest, because my hair doesn't dry out as much since it's not hot and sunny like it is in the summer. So in the wintertime, I switch my routine up to a little bit moisture maybe every two days. Um, and also my own body moisture. I drink a lot of water. So everything that comes out of you is a reflection of everything that comes in you. Everything that comes out of you is a reflection of everything that went in you. You feel me? So I drink a lot of water. I eat healthy. And that is because I want the things that come out of my mouth, that come out of my hair, that show up on my skin, to be a reflection of the goodness that I have put into it. So I know that the way that I have taken care of my body and up my water intake and also sprayed my hair and kept it moisturized has contributed to longevity, has contributed to growth contributed to thickness and when my roots come out they still healthy I make sure to take care of my roots my natural hair just as well as I take care of the locked parts okay um yeah that's it y'all that's that's really why I think my hair has grown low maintenance love and caring for your body caring for yourself your hair is literally growing out of your head so make sure you input good things into yourself and put good things when you think about your hair when you think about your life and it's just gonna shine all over you and that's all about that self-love, acceptance, and caring for yourself. Also, so, um, you know I've been looking for my holy grail type of retwist formula that will help me keep a tighter hold. Uh, I haven't found it all the way, but I have tried Dr. Locks. I'll be giving you guys a product review video for them soon. Uh, soon as in, you already know what time it is. I'll be on here when I'm on here. I'm working full time though. Um, okay, so I'll be giving you guys a product video soon. I was using aloe vera gel to retwist my hair. I have tried the Dr. Locks Imani Locking Spray. Um, I like it, but it's not much different than the aloe vera gel. And I'll say that because it's a spray, so it's it's not going to cause you any buildup, which is amazing. But I ran into the same exact problem. My hair was untwisting immediately. And I know it's because I have soft hair, so I need something a little stronger. I uh, use the Imani all in the back of my hair. I don't care if this gets frizzy very quickly. However, these front locks, when I do them, I like them to be maintained and looking neat for a little bit longer. You know, I'm chaotic all through here, but I like to have it clean edges, keep it clean around here. Wild and neat can go together, and that's how I feel like on my head. So I've been using Curls Blueberry Bliss Control Paste, Blueberry Bliss, control paste and I've only been using it for about three weeks on my hair now I have not seen any build up yet but you cannot hold me to it and the reason I say that is because I usually see build up two or three weeks after I started using the product and I haven't seen it yet but I want to let a little bit more time pass to see if I would recommend this as something that's just a good hold for the front locks okay you don't have to do this all the way through your hair unless you like a cleaner look but for me this is all just about keeping these front locks a lot neater when I go work out and when I go to work I want to have my not have to do my hair and retwist my hair all the time now back to what I was saying about being consistent in your life, you guys. Um, when you have good things that you're doing for yourself, when you have started to develop good habits, I want you to forget about the results. I want you to forget about the end goal. I want you to take it back to right now and realize that you are doing things for yourself every single day. What good thing can I do for myself? What good thing can I do for myself? What step can I take to improve my life, to improve my hair, to improve my relationships? And let's just be consistent with every day choosing good things for ourselves. So you don't have to have a six month goal, a year long goal. If you take proper steps and build upon those steps every single day, the consistency will show. So if you consistently wash your hair every three weeks, which is what I think is the best number for locks, Wash your hair every three weeks. If you are gentle with your hair, if you moisturize your hair, it will develop and show that you have been consistent with care. It will show that you've been consistent with being nurturing. And it will show that it has been loved on. So that is my advice to you guys. If you have any questions or comments, boop, 
you already know what to do drop them below like the video if you like me i really hope you do <laughs> i like you guys um and come check me out i'll be back it's been 15 months my hair is sprouting out of my head you see it you see it it's getting long i'm excited i'm i'm just living every day happy peaceful blessed humbled and i'm thrilled to share my love with everybody and i'm just happy that people are even here to accept it so have a good one love you guys i will speak with you soon bye